Kimberly. Welcome to the Glenwood branch at the brand new Makerspace. The laser cutter engraver is a precise cutting and crafting machine. It quickly turns graphics, images, handwriting, drawings, or sketches into custom cut and engraved pieces of art. Let me show you how it works. All right, we're ready to start at the laser cutter engraver. To start off with, we're gonna go to app.glowforge.com. Login should already be saved, but if for some reason it's not, go ahead and talk to a staff member. There should be someone available in the makerspace to help you out. You can always create something from scratch. Just click create, then new blank design. But today we're going to use one of the Glowforge provided files because they're pretty fantastic too. As a librarian, I have a soft spot for bookmarks and I really love this bookshelf bookmark that Glowforge has on its designs. So I'm going to use one of the Glowforge created designs right here. The library has paid for a premium subscription to the Glowforge provided designs. So you can always go through the catalog and search or use whatever you like that's free with premium. Turn on the air filter, then turn on the Glowforge. Place your piece of proof grade material in the printer bed. Please note that only one layer can be cut or engraved at a time. Never stack materials inside the machine. Wait for the app to recognize your material. The type of material should appear on the top left of the workspace in the Glowforge app. As you can see, you can always utilize the scraps from your project. I had to reset this design because somebody else had worked on it before me. Using the select tool, click on your object. Click and drag a corner of your design to resize it. There are rulers along the side of your workspace to help you decide how large your object will cut. Adjust the placement of your design on the material. Make sure to avoid cutting too close to the edge or into any blank or used space on your material. It's usually best to cut towards the edge of the material so that you can utilize the scraps for additional projects. Before we print, I'm going to go over here in the settings to make sure everything's how I want it. It's going to cut the outside rectangle, cut the small circle so that I can add a tassel, and engrave the books. I think everything looks good. Now we take our laptop over to the Glowforge machine. You always have to be right next to the Glowforge when it's printing so that you can monitor the project. Safety first! Anytime you're using the laser cutter engraver, you do need to wear your laser safety glasses. Now we're ready to print. We're going to go ahead and click print on the app and then push play when the button starts to light up. This will energize the laser, it will focus on your material, and then the magic will start. You must monitor your project while the laser isn't energized. Do not leave the Glowforge unattended at any time. For the purposes of this video, we had to speed it up a little bit because I don't think anyone wants to watch my bookmark engrave for 12 whole minutes. We are almost there. Once the timer hits zero, you still need to wait a few extra seconds. The app will tell you when it's safe to open. Once you see that green check, then you are good to go. You can open up the laser cutter engraver and pull out your project. 
it's great to be able to use up your scraps. If for some reason you cut into the wording or the QR code on your proof grade material, make sure to write the exact name somewhere else on your material. So this one was medium maple hardwood. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and peel off this protective layer, layer off the top of my final bookmark. And there we have it, our finished bookmark. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to email us at askhcls at hclibrary.org or ask any staff member here in the Glen